Hello, friends, and welcome again to another Street Fighter Duel video. So, the new update had dropped, and we have uh, some small events that are opening right now. And we have a new character that is, I think, King of Wrestling Hugo, and he's awesome. Actually, I'll be talking about him in the next video. I'll be making a dedicated video for him to uh, go and explain his skills and what he does. Now, we have also Voodoo Battle that started. You can pick a side, it's totally RNG in my opinion, depending on what team to win. It's on your perspective and what you think. I just randomly picks, uh, pick any side. This time I picked Bison for absolutely no reason. So hopefully, best of luck for everybody. The rewards are not that magnificent. I mean, if you get the 1,200 diamonds, that's absolutely awesome. Now, we have Effigy Clash that started. Now, I'll be talking about the teams that I used and I will show you how I scored in the Effigy Clash. Two things, two major things that you need to understand here. It's not a competition between everybody, it's a competition between the guilds. It means one of your guild teammates or members should rank in the top 10 so everybody will get the higher prize, which is 5,000 diamonds, I think, or 10,000 diamonds. Let's check, check the glory prize. It's 5,000 diamonds. This uh, uh, prize will be distributed among everybody in your guild, so everybody will be benefit from it. So keep that in mind. The second thing is the effigy, the guild effigy, and how do you level it up? So if we go and check my guild uh, effigy, we went on Haladum E. Why Haladum E? Because Haladum E will increase the damage done to the bosses in this event, so you can score higher and higher. So try to maximize this, at least get it to level 20, so you can have a chance to get in the top 10, or one of your guild members to get in the top 10. The others, you need them for the effigy clash. So whenever you're fighting another guild, the Haladon P is to increase the PvP stats. So if you're gonna go and defeat the other uh, Guardians, you need this to be ranked up. And then we have the Haladon S, which is increasing the difficulty for the, the effigy of your guild or the enemy. So you can go and deal even more damage to it. So these are the important in the end uh, of the end of this event. And this is the most important from the start. So you can accumulate and get more rewards. So let's go and check our battle scores or what we did. And the first boss is this boss. Now, the Withered Fortress is not that hard. It does require one simple mechanic. Now, if you have the Gormagala can EX move, you can remove all the shields when you drop it. Or the uh, Toxic Love EX move, when you drop it and it hits the enemy, it will remove all the shields that he have, and then you can go and continuously deal damage. The lineups that I've been using, I will share it with you, so you can go and have an uh, idea of what I've been using, which is a relatively good score right now. So the first lineup, of course, Rich Honda with Fire Aidon and Sweet Poison. If you have Flame Chunk, Flame Chunk is better than Rose having her here because it will maximize your flame damage with flame penetration. If you don't, you can use Rose. I uh, I did uh, get Rose to Triple S not long time ago. Uh, I had one uh, random copy of her and then I got uh, one from the shop so you can build her up and as you see she's on uh, 6 out of 6 cards because I was uh, saving those cards for her and summoned them before. The second lineup is Viper with Gormagala Ken. I'm using Kami for the C2 because she removes the shields faster and she deals a little slightly a good amount of damage. Plus, I wanted the armor break because armor break doesn't only affect armor break units, but any unit will deal even more damage because it will ignore a little bit of the defense, which is a cool mechanic to have it. You can use her as an assist for Gormagala Ken or even Ryu if you don't have Gormagala Ken, or you can use it on Summer Elena or any unit that is a uh, trigger passive unit without using Gormagala Khan, but Gormagala Khan, sometimes he goes into beast mode and he deals insane amount of damage. This is why I'm using here, here. and he buffs the lineup with 25% extra damage, which is absolutely fantastic. Suit Able is here to help with his C1 because he gives the shields, he does some uh, good amount of damage and he heals your lineup. The third lineup is the basic normal vanilla Dalsim team, which is Dalsim, Fashion Blanca, Summer Yang and Bison. We use it as follow, we start with Fashion Blanca, the first two uh, tries or two rotations, C1 with Dalsim, C2 with Summer Yang to give me more combo meter if he applies armor break, then C3 with Bison, and all the rest of the rotation I start with Dalsim, Fashion Blanca, Summer Yang, Dalsim, or Dalsim, Summer Yang, Blanca, Dalsim, depending if you want survivability or you want more damage. So let's go and check the first lineup and how we did here. Of course, I'm using Akuma because he has a lot of stats. I'm using him on 
my fire I don't know you can use somebody else you can put rose on him use somebody else use guy maybe here for the c2 instead of rose you can play around it you can use also uh, uh mayor cody if you want on uh on him but because i'm not uh playing to get more buffs i'm trying to increase his attack so he deals more damage all his damage comes from his attack from his fire of wall so keep that in mind i'll be making a, a, a video only for uh flame adon to explain how he deals even more damage if you don't have flame chunk so let's go and check the lineup and how we did of course we're having fei long as an assist as well let's get it to times four and as i always said uh, to you in bosses specifically in in, in crusade in guilds in uh, effigy clash uh, the best way to go with bosses is at 51 seconds. When you go to 51 seconds, you can deal the most damage to the bosses. So at 51 seconds, as you see, we use Kami and, Ver uh, and uh, Vega EX because it's the best one to use here. And then we start uh, our battle. I start with Akuma EX move because it will buff my Aedon. And then I go and deal that damage. I start normal rotation with Kami and Vega EX with Rose. Then I go with uh, Rich Honda, 3 Poison. Rose than uh, Flame Aedon until the end of the battle. Let's speed it up a little bit and here you go and see what happened. And the EX move, I will show you where I used the Virgil EX move. It didn't help that much, maybe a little bit to keep uh, to keep them alive for a while. But as you see, everybody dies in the end and then uh, my Flame Aedon is the one dealing the damage. And it's the Firewall dealing the damage over time, which is absolutely fantastic. Now, the second lineup which is this lineup. Now, of course, you can play better lineups. You can use Akuma, you can use... If you have Trendy Kami, Trendy Kami deals absolutely insane damage for Effigy Clash, and she was the queen of Effigy Clash before introducing other units for bossing, so you can still use her. So, our lineup here, also, we wait for 51 seconds, as always, and we start with Viper, then going Able, then uh, uh, Kami, then Viper again, and this is how the whole rotation goes and i use the uh drones immediately when i have them because i don't want you can use the drones to remove the shield if you want but i use them because i want to accumulate combo meter as soon as possible and at 51 seconds we start with viper then we go with able kami then viper again and as you see armor break on the boss because of kami's c2 and this will help us increase our damage output with viper and gormagala ken and everybody else who also is affecting the boss or hitting the boss especially even kami she will increase her damages as well so we go back to back and this is how we do now when the shield drop you see i used only ex because it takes a little bit of chunk of the uh, shields from the boss which is absolutely nice as well it doesn't remove it completely correct me if i'm wrong if it removes it correct, uh, completely but for me it was removing it uh, removing a chunk of it maybe half of it which is really good to maximize my damage and then in the end nobody dies as you see here because abel is a good defensive unit and he's a good beast for healing now for the last lineup which is the dalsim lineup as you see I'm using Witch Jury on Dalsim because I want her to keep him survived. So I start with Fashion Blanca, you the C1 of Dalsim after you have 5 stacks, so I accumulate more. Then drop Summer Yang with his C2 and he applies Armor Break, 3 Armor Break which is perfect and Bison with C3. So I can go back to back and start with Fashion Blanca again. C1 with Dalsim, then Summer Yang but I take my time here so Dalsim accumulate the Yoga Tower and we get him to plus 25 at the start. As you see here we go, he's plus 25, we wait a little bit so we start with Dalsim, Fashion Blanca, Summer Yang, then Dalsim again just to accumulate more combo meter with my Summer Yang if he applies Armor Break which he does it will give us a little bit of advantage. Now here when he drops the shield the boss we use the Toxic Love EX move because it removes all the shields. So I start with uh, Dalsim and C1 with Fashion Blanca, the Toxic Love C2 from Summer Yang and then the C3 from Dalsim. And here you go, it removed it all. Now I was a little bit late on my timing with the EX move for healing. I could survive or I could heal my lineup. So keep that in mind, you can improve your scores. If you time your EX moves, the healing, the defensive zone that gives you shields or heals perfectly. And in the end, this is the most damage that we did and we dropped the EX in the end. So these were the lineups that I used and the damages that it got me. It was relatively good for a free to play, not having a flame chun on their first lineup. Absolutely fantastic having Rose. I tried Goken. Goken works, but it gives me a little bit less score because he doesn't buff the attack that much unless you build him up completely and my rose is completely built up so it put me in my battle zone in the top 10 
It doesn't matter anyway, I'm waiting for the bigger uh, players to deal even more damage and to drop in the uh, top 10 and deal even more damage. So we have, I think, one, two... I still have two other guildmates in this uh, ranking, as I am, as you see, that dealt even more damage. So you need only one in the top 10 and that will guarantee you the spots and the rewards. And yeah, that was it for the video. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you didn't, we thank you for watching. And as always, stay frosty. Peace. Time to fly.